Welcome to this tutorial on reactive synthesis with uh, Spectra and we start off with the setup how to install Eclipse, uh, how to configure it and how to import the projects into the workspace that we're going to use throughout the technical briefing. So we just go to the download page of Eclipse and then you can download the installer. This will make sure that you also get a Java runtime uh, installed so we'll just download this file quickly and then um, <clears throat> we can start it so if you have a recent version of Eclipse already installed uh, you might be lucky and you might be able to install directly the the plugin into that Eclipse but uh, we would recommend that you maybe download a fresh version of Eclipse yeah so this is the installer uh, we, I just started it and the package that you should install is this Eclipse IDE for Java and DSL developers. You can reuse uh, an existing one or install a new JDK uh, and then yeah, just find some installation folder and then say install. I think you have to accept some of the Eclipse licenses and licenses of the other Eclipse projects. It will download the Eclipse in the background. This might take some time. Okay, <clears throat> now the installation was successful and I think we can just say launch. Then it should open this uh, very fresh Eclipse with uh, probably some default workspace. So yeah, let's just take uh, a default. Let's close this welcome screen and then import some projects. So um, we'll just say existing projects into workspace and we will import it from the archive file available for download. So I already downloaded this. This is in my downloads folder, the Spectra tutorial. It has quite a few projects because we have one uh, project for every module in the, in the briefing and then we have optional solution uh, projects for some of the uh, modules where a solution is uh, available just click finish yeah we have the project here but now you see that it doesn't recognize the the files it just uh, opens them in some external editor so what we need to do is we still need to install new software help install new software then select the spectra update site and uh, the update site is this under this URL so I'm just going to copy this and yeah we can add a new update site and then it should find um, these sub packages so you can just select um, everything we don't need exactly everything but uh, we need most so yeah a few times next uh, accepting some licenses and then now we also have to agree to install the unsigned content and restart the IDE Okay, so after restarting, um, we can just check whether and now uh, the Spectra specifications are recognized. Yep, that looks good. So let's quickly check the preferences. Um, here under Spectra, we have some settings to make. So if you are on a Mac, the CDD version will not work for you. You will have to select JTLV package. Uh, the rest we can just leave. Uh, we will later play with uh, some of these settings, but uh, the main thing, if you're on a Mac, select JTLV here, and that's it. 